Hey everyone, welcome to the show today. The dogwoods are blooming, the smell of fresh cut grass is in the air, and you know what that means, spring is here in Texas. And the blue catfish that have been on the main lake all winter are moving up into the shallow water. And today, we're gonna be targeting them using light tackle up in super shallow water, catching lots and lots of fish. I better go find a big cooler. Why don't you hang out with us for the next 30 minutes? Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That's a big one right there. <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southwest region every week. You ever caught a fish that big? No. <laughs> Got it. Now the day. Mm. There you go. Another redfish. Got, Got him it. now. That's what Let's Fish TV is all about right there, guys. Welcome to Let's Fish TV. I'm your guest host, Captain Michael Little John, with my wife, Terry, and we're here at Lake Tawakany, right here at Open Water Lodge. And today we're gonna be targeting blue catfish right here in the spring in shallow water. Lake Tawakany is almost a 40,000 acre lake, one of the largest in the state and we're only 45 minutes east of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and really home to some of the best fishing anywhere in the state of Texas. Today, we're gonna take advantage of our, our windy conditions and we're gonna be catching these, these eater-sized catfish in super, super shallow water. Also, we're gonna be giving you fishing reports from your local region, but first, let's get back to the studios for your weekend planner. Thanks so much for joining us for another episode of Let's Fish TV. The Salooner Tables are predicting good game fish activity both days this weekend. Peak game fish activity begins about 4.46 Saturday and 5.39 early Sunday morning. The best afternoon activity should begin around 5.14 on Saturday and 6.10 on Sunday. Depending on your area, expect the sun to rise around 7.37 and set around 7.38. Nights will feature a moon that's 43% visible. Stay in the loop with Let's Fish TV's latest fishing adventures and tips by joining us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget Andrew's doing an academy tour, so look to our social media pages to see when and where he will be next. All right, pretty cool setup today. We are actually coming out of winter, and we've been hit with literally like 80 degree temperatures for the last couple weeks on and off. and. As you can see behind me, the trees are already got green on them. Anyways, it's uh, it's happening fast around here. Our fish have pulled out of the main water, the main lake, and they're pulling up shallow. And we've killed them the last three or four days. So I can only imagine we haven't had any change at all in the in the conditions other than the, we, we've lost some of the wind, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much today. So small baits, skinny water, a lot of catfish. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, let's go catch them. All right, we are coming up in the back of a cove here off the main lake water temperature 62 degrees here on the main lake it's still 54 to 55 degrees so major temperature swing here for the last three days the wind has just been barreling in here out of the south so it's been warm the coast's been warming up been receiving a lot of beating with the wind coming in and these blue catfish are in here now the wind's not blowing today it's actually almost perfectly calm so we're gonna see how these fish are gonna to respond to that. I, I would prefer for the wind to be blowing, but it's not, so we gotta make it work. So Maybe we'll, get back, like we'll get back here in the back of this cove and see, I'm actually starting to see a lot of bait on side imaging. And I'm actually starting to see some smaller blue catfish on, on the left side over here. So we're gonna get back up in here and get, get anchored in it and get the rods out and see what happens. So we haven't had a bite here in what? 10 minutes? Well, we hadn't had a bite yet. And, you know, we were here a few days ago with customers. We had, what, 
75 fish in about three hours. There's, we have, we've been here for 10 minutes, haven't had a bite. We really don't want to spend much longer in here. We would have already had a bite if we were going to catch fish in here. So, so the wind really plays a part in. Yeah, except look at there. Look what's going on right there. That one's getting a bite, finally. We're finally getting a bite. All right, go get him. He's on. Real, 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 real. Yeah, real, 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 real fast, 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 fast. He's not on there. You missed him? I can't oh, believe you missed him. There. That was our first bite right there. But nonetheless, I really think that we need to relocate yeah. here in just a minute. That's the first bite we've had in 10 minutes. And we've got a breeze out on the main lake but it's not making it back into the cove here. It may later, but uh, we need to go find some wind. We need a good bite. So let's uh, let's reel these up and let's go uh, let's go find some wind. <laughs> Man, so here's the deal. We have struggled all morning. First fish we've caught. We've been on the water three hours, and we finally found a cove where the wind's blowing in. And this is the first rod we threw out. And look. That rod just got bit on the back. We've got two rods out. First rod went out, we've got a fish on. So, look, there's enough fish right there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Real, 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 real. Look at there. Two rods out, two fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, that's a nice blue right here. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Yep. How many doubles have we got? We literally Maybe only have. Right now. Maybe like, you know, like. Look at this, guys. Like, we always catch doubles. Look at this. Doubles. It's a race. Two rods out, two fish. Look at here, guys. This is what you're looking for. Right here. Look at this. Perfect. One to two pound fish. You cannot beat. Is yours bigger than mine? I think they're about the same size. Yeah. But you know what? We have fished for three <laughs> hours and have nothing to show for I'm it. So we hit this. So this is the point. You got to move around. You, if you're not on fish, move. We rolled in this cove. The side imaging lit up with fish. And we thought, okay, here we go. Boom. And here's another thing. We're not, we're not putting out anchors. We're using our anchor mode on our trolling motor to hold us still. And we're able to get on on anchor real quick with our tow motor and get rods out real fast and look you know who knows we're gonna put 10 rods out we're gonna see what happens hi everybody and welcome to this week's lone star lakes brought to you once again by freeman toyota whether you're looking for new or pre-owned cars trucks suvs freeman toyota has the inventory you're looking for at a price you'll like now this week we're going to start on lake texoma one of texas's premier smallmouth bass fisheries Texoma has three classes of rock, if you will. They have big house and car sized boulders. They have chunk rock that's, oh, basketball size and a little bigger. And then they have the gravel banks. Right now, you're gonna find those smallies transitioning between that chunk rock and those gravel banks in order to spawn. Now on a really sunny, clear day, you may find them hanging around some of the big boulders on the backside using that as cover and shade. But for the most part, you're gonna see them trying to move up and spawn. So throw your shallow crank baits, your chatter baits, your drop shots, hair jigs, things like that, and you'll connect with these Texoma smallies. Now over at Eagle Mountain, the catfish, giant blues, up shallow. You can catch them on cut bait and live shad, but you gotta know, Eagle Mountain is about six feet low at this time, and there are some hazards, some sandbars, out in the main lake where you wouldn't expect to find them, so be very careful on Eagle Mountain. That's this week's Lone Star Lakes. Check us out on Facebook, Lone Star Lakes. You had that on your hand when he hit it. I think he just pulled off. Did he? No, he's running at you. Look, he's running. Yeah, right. <laughs> These fish will just, yeah. they will, she just threw this out, hadn't put it in the rod holder yet, and she's got one on. I'll tell you, in this skinny water, wow. look at that nice blue. In this skinny water, these fish will outrun you. We're using circle hooks, so we're not setting the hook, we're reeling down on them. That's why when you watch us, when we run up to the, to the rod, we're not setting the hook like you would think. We're reeling down because you're using circle hooks. But here's what happens. These fish. blues, because they're only in three foot of water, they have nowhere to go, so they'll run. And a lot of times they'll run right at you. So you reel down, you've got him, and all of a sudden he's gone. 
but he's not gone. He's outrun you. He's coming at the boat. So you got to really, really run to, to catch up to him. This, in my opinion, is perfect. Yeah, that is a, a great that's a great eating size fish. We'll keep you in for dinner. Um, hey, I'm, I'm in for eating a few fish, so. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism, Let's Fish on Alabama's beaches, Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Look at there, guys. I mean, just perfect, perfect, perfect eating size blue cat. All right, guys, bait of choice right here is fresh gizzard shad. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna first scale this gizzard shad just like this right here. Get all the scales off of her, just like that. It's gonna make this, this bait a lot softer. And then I'm just gonna come in here. Now we're fishing for eater size catfish, so we want small pieces of bait. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna first fillet this fish. I'm gonna come in here and all I'm gonna do is come in here I'm going to take just a little bit bigger than thumbnail pieces, just like this. That's a little bit big. I'll take that one right there, and then I'm going to cut that one in half. And right there, guys, that's all this is, is, is gizzard shad. That's another, that's another four or five pieces of bait right there. Out this entire shad, I can probably get 10 to 12, maybe even 15 pieces of bait. So, And I can reuse these baits. As long as they're in decent shape, I can reuse them over and over. All right, one of the tricks when you're fishing for these eater fish is literally these really, really, really small circle hooks. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is a three-aught circle hook. And all I'm doing is I'm taking these little pieces of shad and I'm just hooking them once right through there, just like that. Tiny, tiny hooks, and we're not missing hardly any fish. Hopefully, here in a minute, we don't miss a fish. I would reel down on one, finally. I'm surprised you're letting me catch one of these. <laughs> these little circle hooks, guys, are the key. And a three-aught or a four-aught, they are deadly. You'll hardly, I mean, I'm not saying you're not gonna miss a fish, but man, that you just hardly e e never do. Nice fish, look at there. That means I gotta catch another one to beat that. <laughs> Look at there, guys. I mean, just perfect, perfect, perfect eating size blue cat. And some of these are gonna taste really good tonight. Hey, friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here from Bali Sports Let's Fish. I tell you what, right now we're gonna start out here on Lake Calcasieu at Cajun Paradise Charters. We're gonna talk saltwater fishing. Tell you what, basically right here, right now, we're catching lots of redfish, throwing some full horse corks, anywhere from one to three feet of water with live shrimp. That seems to be the best key right there. On the freshwater side of things, I tell you what, a lot of lakes over there by the Atchafalaya, like Henderson and all that, and the bass are really turning on. Spinner baits, shallow diving crankbait for old Cajun Phil. Captain Kevin Broussard saying happy fishing, may God bless, and we're gonna see you next week. Let's fish. All right, we're sneaking in here on the trolling motor. I'm in three and a half foot of water. And if I'm coming in here with a 300 horsepower outboard, am I gonna blow the fish completely out? No, but I'm gonna make a difference. I'm coming in here on my trolling motor, staying quiet. Um, I'm in the very, very back of this cove and there's not a lot of water back here. Um, the quieter I am when I come in, I feel like the less fish I'm gonna spook and the more fish that we're gonna catch. I've never caught a turtle on Lake Tawakini. Earlier she caught one. We're getting ready to leave. I've got one on too. He's a copycat. Look at this. Look at this. 
You know, it's that time of year. The water temperature is 65 degrees. These suckers have been buried up mud for the last couple months. They're ready to come out and eat. And they're not gonna discriminate. They see a piece of shad sitting on the bottom of the lake, they're gonna eat it. So something you just gotta deal with comes with the territory. <laughs> Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Powerful, total boat control. Balls out, made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on, challenge your limits. Oh, look at here. That's how many of them are out here. Look at this, look where she caught this fish. Look at there, catch a tiger by its tail. We just uh, we just finished up fishing this cove. Lights out, a lot of fish in here. Uh, I did see the fish on side imaging, but wanted to kind of make a point. We've got kind of an east wind today, which I wasn't planning on. And this isn't a cove that I fish a lot, but the wind is blowing in here. And now it's been blowing in here for a couple of hours. And your midge larva, your zooplankton, your photoplankton, all of your particles are blowing in here. And um, these fish eat these as well. And when you're looking for a place, because there's so many, so much water in all these lakes, you don't even know where to start. One of the best places to start, especially in the springtime like this, is to find a cove off the main lake where the wind has been blowing. Ideally, a couple days in the same direction is best. And this has just been a couple hours, but it was enough. We've already been to three coves, hadn't caught a fish. Got in this cove, and the wind was actually blowing in here real good and they're in here thick. So we're gonna go around the corner. There's another cove just right down the way. We're gonna go check it out and see if the same fish are in the same, or in, in the other cove. Of course, we're getting ready to go move, go try another spot. Actually, we're still catching fish, but we're just trying to go to another spot to catch some more fish in another spot. I've got some trips coming up. And um, last rod out, and of course, the missus here decides to catch another one. She's showing off. I think she thinks I eat too much, so she felt sorry for me, yeah, so she's so trying good. to. I got him in the tail. That's how hungry. Oh, look at here. That's how many of them are out here. Look at this. Look where she caught this fish. Look at there. Catch a tiger by its tail. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up guys, Captain Taylor Burrell here with Wave Dancer Charters with this week's fishing report. Let's start off down in Rockport, Texas. Sheephead fishing has been really good along the rocks, fishing with live shrimp. The redfish are very fair along the jetties, freelining live shrimp and also in the back lakes. Said there's a lot of bull reds being caught in the ship channel. All right, let's move on east a little bit back to Galveston, my home port. Uh, the bay guys have been catching quite a few numbers of trout, but they've been catching some really, really big ones wading. This is the time of year if you want to catch a big girl, that's where she's going to be. Also, the sheephead and the redfish along the jetties have been phenomenal. Lots of big sheephead. We've had a couple over 24 inches the past couple weeks. Remember, if you want to come fishing with us, give us a call at 409-988-8888. That's it for this week's fishing report. Y'all have a good week. All right, we just finished. Uh, catching these fish, shooting this show, having a good time. And there's a lot of fish that you catch and you let go. And then there's fish that you catch and you keep to eat. And the eating size blue catfish are among the very top of all those choices. And we have the Academy HTO brand knife, which I've been using for these catfish. And this has been an awesome, awesome knife for these catfish. And folks, a lot of people are nervous about cleaning catfish, but really, they're really easy to clean. You just come in here right at the rib cage, make your cut, come right down, pull it out, and then just simply finish it off on the backside. Just like that. You'll be left with just a little piece of a rib cage. And right there, folks, you have a 100% cleaned, no skin, ready to literally to roll in cornmeal and fry up filet right there. And fantastic. The Academy H2O blade knife is fantastic. Does a great job. 
couldn't be more happy with this knife. We've cleaned probably a couple thousand catfish with it and still, it's still going strong. So this is a good tip for here. You're gonna come home with catfish. You don't have to skin them and you don't have to sit them with a manual knife. Little, little knife like this is perfect for cleaning catfish. Good tip for you. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lake Hartwell Country. Catch the feeling. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King, tie one on. And by Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Hey everyone, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we use today to catch these shallow water blue catfish right here at Lake Tawakany. Uh, really, this is just a Carolina rig that I'm using, but I've got a couple of things here that make things a little bit easier. Uh, you don't have to use these, but one of these is a sinker slide. A sinker slide is simply, it goes on your line. It allows you to attach, and in this case, we're using a two ounce uh, sinker. It's a bell sinker, and you can just attach it on. We also drift for these blues certain times of the year, and I like the sinker slide because I can actually remove the sinker I could perhaps put a bigger one on if it was windy, or I could put a, a drifting weight on the sinker slide. But sinker slide goes on. First, I put a bead right behind the sinker slide to protect my knot, and then I'm just taking a one dot or a two dot uh, swivel and attaching it. And then I'm coming back with uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 pound leader. I purposely grabbed and used today high vis line as a leader to, to make a point. And the point is this. These fish are not line shy. I mean, they're caught on trot lines, they're caught on rope. So orange line, even as a leader today, worked fine. We caught plenty of fish today. We didn't have a problem with that. So, and then that's gonna go down to a, and here's the key, a three-aught or four-aught circle hook. This is a very small circle with very small pieces of bait, but you know what? It's doing the job. We're not even hardly having to reel down on these fish. These fish are hitting the bait and they are catching themselves. So this is what we're using. It's real simple. It's a Carolina rig with two ounces of lead, a three or four out circle, and a small piece of cut shad. That's the ticket. It worked great for us. It's been working this entire week. We put customers literally on hundreds of fish this week, all shallow water blue cats using this exact same system all of the tackle that we used on today's show to catch the shallow water blue catfish every bit of it was bought right at academy sports and outdoors all of it can be found there you guys go out and catch a bunch of fish open water lodge is a gated five and a half acre point right in the shores of lake tawakany where friends and family and fishermen can come from from all over really and and just enjoy the the cabins the lodge and then Tawakity Guide Service is right here on the property where we run five boats daily for trophy catfish, crappie, white bass, stripers on the shores of Lake Tawakity, just 45 minutes east of Dallas. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's show here at Lake Tawakity catching shallow water blue catfish in the springtime. And just remember, this technique and the tips that you learned today can be used anywhere in your region where blue catfish are found. Andrew will be back next week, but until then, you guys be safe, have fun, and we'll see you on the water.